The most crucial part of the basketball season has already started for local men's teams with conference games the rest of the way. However, Muhlenberg, Moravia, and DeSales feel confident that they have the talent to make it to the postseason. And although there's still always room for improvement, they're satisfied where they are now. Erica Rose has more. The second of three Lehigh Valley Small College luncheons was held Tuesday afternoon, giving teams the chance to reflect on the first half of their season and focus on what's left in conference play. Muhlenberg is off to a great start and at one point was 9-2, and two, its best start in 64 years. But now it's all about conference play where they have to continue to improve and at the same time quickly gain experience. The experience is coming very fast. It's, it's just, you know, experience will, will give you the exam first and the lesson second. So sometimes those lessons are tough lessons. Uh, the previous week we lost two in a row, and that was tough, and that divided us a little bit, and that really challenged those young guys and how to handle that. But we bounced back, had a great win on Saturday against Gettysburg, played much better in the areas that we focused on, and that's what we have to continue to do. We have so much talent on our team following our senior, um, Spencer Lytic, who's an All-American. We have a bunch of great freshmen and sophomores. Our whole team has a lot of talent talent. Um, so I think we just started hot winning games on our talent and then we had a couple tough losses but I think that just came with being young and then more recently we learned to play as a team more and we're working hard and uh, changing things up and we're doing well. I don't think there's a whole lot of difference between everyone else in the league right now and we're all trying to fight a little bit to separate ourselves. I think our talent level gives us a chance to do that but we're going to have to learn to play more consistent basketball. Under the ladies part of today's luncheon, all seven teams represented with student athletes not only accomplishing things on the court, but as Erica says, more importantly, off the hardwood. Regina Patochny looks at the second half of conference play and what it will take for our local teams to possibly make it to the postseason. The seniors on the Muhlenberg women's basketball team are not used to losing, only being defeated 18 times throughout their careers. Starting the season off 12-0 was huge, but after dropping two in a row, the Lady Mules are looking to stay positive and get refocused. Always tough in the middle of the season. You know, you, these are the days you have to sort of grind them out. The excitement of the season is sort of passed over a little bit at the start of it, but you don't see the finish line of the championship yet. Uh, every team goes through this, and, and hopefully uh, this will make us a better team. We've been too good at opening games in the past few, so we need to get better in that. And then just going down the stretch, execution on offense, rebounding was definitely down last night. And hopefully we get to the situations where now we know we can be behind, we know how to come from behind to win the game. Like we did at F&M, so... If it happens again, we'll be pre prepared for it, unlike we were last night. We've been such a good offensive team all year, as high as number two in the country in scoring, uh, that it's come pretty easily for us. Now we struggle through a few uh, poor shooting games, and our execution has to get better, maybe to get a few better shots and be open a little bit more. And some of it's just, hey, that's part of the game, and not try to uh, make too many adjustments and overreact to anything.